Hey YouTube, this is Jebebe Jove, and today I will show you a review of iOS 6.0 beta version. This is not released to the public yet, and will be released in the fall. So just to prove to you I'm running 6.0, you can see version 6.0. So let's just get started. I'll run through um, some new features that are pretty cool. So one is Maps. It used to be Google Maps, but now it's Apple's own application. So as you can see, it doesn't look like Maps like that regular uh, iPhone has on iOS 5. So they have that still that same flip where I could um, select Standard, select Hybrid, select Satellite. Or show and show traffic and drop a pin. But some new features are 3D. This isn't really um, ready yet, but what they are doing, they are actually allowing, um, they're actually uploading 3D, uh, put this 3G, 3D pictures of buildings. So when this source co when this is complete and ready for release in fall, they should have all these buildings in 3D. I saw on the news yesterday that they're using some sort of spy planes to imp um, take pictures and improve um, the pictures for this uh, app. So an eyewitness news. So this is um, just a quick look at the new maps, not Google Maps, just maps. And also you could um, now print on any Wi-Fi printer, not just an Apple printer. The next big thing is um, Passbook. It's not really an app yet. They just have the, uh, you can open it. I'm tapping, nothing's happening. But what this does now is it allows you to import your coupons, tickets, um, gift cards, and boarding passes that you could scan directly from your iPhone. So say you have a Starbucks card, you should be able to input the code and then they'll be able to scan your screen. Or if you have a Yankee game ticket, you could import that code and get the ticket to appear to scan so you don't have to bring the ticket and lose it. Now, they actually upgraded Siri, which is really cool for the iPhone for us. So, watch this. Let's find a good app. Um, open Maps. They now could actually open programs or applications from Siri that was not able to be done before. Open settings. How cool is that? Another cool feature that I really really like is it's now Facebook um, integrated not just Twitter. So as you can see under my uh, uh, notification bar you see tap to post Facebook and tap to tweet. If I were to tap that, I could directly type a my uh, whatever it's called status, which is really cool. And since I am Facebook integrated, under my phone, which is uh, also a different color, but pretty much the same thing, under my phone, I don't really want to show people's names, every contact that you have in Facebook, every friend, and they have their number and contacts, so let's say my friend Joe Schmo entered his uh, phone number. That's now imported into my contacts. So really quickly, so all my Facebook friends have that. And I'll close that so you can't see it. But I have 500 friends, so now I have 500 uh, phone numbers in my contacts, which is really nice. So now I'll just go into settings. <clears throat> and I'll go down the line of what's new. So everything's new until do not disturb. I haven't really been able to use that yet, and there are going to be adding more settings. But what I believe that does, it allows, um, it sends right to your voicemail, or it doesn't vibrate when you text. It's meant for when you want quiet. Um, so that's do not disturb. The next one is privacy. <coughs> I'm sorry. What this does, it allows, um, allows what application it shows what applications are being um, are using certain things like contacts photos reminders calendars so you want to know if an app is snooping around your stuff this is the place to find out what app is 
Um, next thing is iCloud. They added this um, new Find My iPhone feature where it actually tracks and shows on a map where your iPhone has been if you activated um, Find My iPhone. So say that you lost it and you um, like someone stole it and you want to know where it is, it actually draws a line as a person moves just like the spy movies where they added GPS in someone's car and you could track it just like that. The next one is um, FaceTime. FaceTime used to only be available on 3G. Now it is available only on Wi-Fi. Now it's available on both Wi-Fi and 3G. The only thing is you have to make sure that it, you have unlimited data because that could kill your megabytes if you have like two uh, two gigabytes. Next one is iTunes and App Store purchases. This allows any app to be able to sell their own things without going through iTunes App Store. So say I have an app and I want to sell coins it I, you don't have to go through the app store to buy it, it could go right through the app as i said twitter and facebook integration um and that's really it for now um as they add more stuff i will be updating you but this is just a quick look at uh some of the main features i've noticed some other features are like in my mail there's now like a vip setting where you could quickly access mail from important people in your VIP mailbox. I haven't done that yet, but I will. So I guess if someone sends an email and they're under your VIP list, it will appear to the top. So say you have a job and you want your boss's emails to be the first one above everything else, that should be what it does. Um, I haven't really looked at anything else. Let's go to music. They just changed the player a little bit. It looks much sleeker and cooler. Um, so unless I want to I, don't, I can't play music due to copyright claims, but let's say I were to shuffle a song and I won't play it, you could see that the uh, it, it just looks different. It looks cooler, I think. The buttons are nicer. Um, so that's really it for now with the um, um, iOS 6.0. Um, uh, uh, messages really look the same. I mean, nothing special. Um, so I hope you enjoyed guys. Please forget to rate, comment, subscribe. This is Jibba Bay Jibba Bay. If you have any questions, feel free to comment them and I will try to get back to you as soon as possible. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed.